guys, so this is my new paper storage for my 8.5 by 11 paper. Um, this unit here is actually nine different cubes from Ikea. This is the other purchase I made at Ikea the day that I went. And couldn't show it to you yet because I wasn't finished. So there are nine paper sorting trays here. And they can be stacked um, vertically the way that they're organized now. Or you can you can turn them on their sides but I think this is more sturdy this way if you're gonna stack them as high as I did and as many as I have because the uh, slotted pieces those little white dividers that you see in there those are actually drawers and because these are metal um, there's more rigidity because there's four in each of the little square units and the square units are 9 by 12 by 12. So the 9 is the depth of the unit. It's actually the same depth of this bookcase that I have from Ikea underneath. Um, so it's not very deep. And it perfectly holds those job ticket holders from Office Depot um, when you cut that little strip off the top um, that you don't need anyway. So my um, job ticket holders are like um, 9 by 12 now and they fit exactly into those slotted pieces there. So you can see this is where my um, paper sorter used to be. And that was only made from MDF on the outside, but the inner pieces were all cardboard. Um, and that was starting to sag. So all of the pieces were stacked horizontally instead of vertically. I like it better this way um, because you can get to all the paper, the different colored paper much easier than when it's stacked horizontally because you have to dig you know, through the whole stack in order for you to get out what you need. This way you can just pull one color out at a time. So that is my new paper organization and I will show you up close what it looks like. Um, oh, and by the way, I still have all my tilde stuff on top um, of it. It's a little bit wider than my paper sorter was originally, but it's fine, I didn't lose too much space in between. Okay, be right back. So I'm a little closer to the paper sorter that I was showing you and I just wanted to show you really quickly how these look up close. Um, as I said, there was nine units here that are a 12 by 12 by nine cube and the depth is the nine inches. So these folders that you get, the job ticket holders from Office Depot, fit perfectly in here because they are nine inches uh, wide and 12 inches tall after you cut off that little strip at the top which is not needed anyway because your eight and a half by 11 is going to fit in here just fine so you can see what I've done is I've organized the paper the way that I want it organized all of my 65 pound weight Michaels paper or other uh, manufacturer paper that's 65 pound weight is across the top because I don't use it as much and then this right here is all gingham paper. And as you can see, I have not put all of them in packages yet because uh, these are sealed boxes and they'll, the paper will stay straight if it's you know in the box like this. Uh, what I was worried about for some of these was the packaging that was open. So that, that because if you have the paper um, in just you know regular packaging it's not stiff enough to keep it straight and over time the paper is going to bend like this because it's sitting in the slot so these job ticket holders are great for for keeping the paper nice and straight um, and will not allow the paper to really bend so um, this is like all my paper tray ink gingham right here next to that and then this is creative memories gingham paper and then there's some more paper tray ink pattern paper. I don't have much of it in the eight and a half by 11. So this is all eight and a half by 11 paper. And then across the bottom up until about where the white section starts, this is all my 110 pound cardstock from Michaels. Um, plus uh, some heavy weight. Uh, this is actually a paper tray ink pack that I got. I'm probably just going to separate it by warm, cool, and neutral colors just because I only really have this big package here is two sheets of every color no let's see yeah two sheets of each of 37 colors so there's no really real need to put them into separate packets because there's not enough of each color so i'm probably going to just separate it by warm cool and neutral 
um, and call it a day so there's not too many of those packets. I've opened it because I've taken one sheet out to use it for a card. Um, and then on this side, which is least used paper, um, there's some specialty papers in here, like um, handmade paper. Um, here's some of that gold card stock that's like wrinkly. Um, this is handmade paper from the paper source. Um, and then there's some like canvas paper and stuff like that, but it's all eight and a half by 11 or close to that size. Um, some cover weight paper here, some transparency um, for shaker cards or whatever. Um, and just, you know, various packs of paper. So I just thought I'd go ahead and show you that real quick. Oh, and the way that these things work is you can put them horizontal or vertical. Um, and they normally would go in like, I just turned it around. So there's a slot. It would normally be like this. So if it was laying horizontal, you could pull it out and something would be sitting on top. Well, because I oriented it vertically, um, because it's more stable um, with these in place um, and me stacking it up three high, I thought it would be better for me to put it that way. And because these would then just get in the way of me pulling paper out, um, I guess the designer was thinking that as well. And the way that they've designed it is it allows you to put it in backwards, basically, so that that little tab piece goes to the back of the box. You see that? So it doesn't interfere with anything. I guess unless it's full, because then it will pull the paper out itself if the whole thing was full. But none of these slots are terribly full, except for maybe this one, which I don't need to pull these out. They're really more dividers now. Um, all I have to do is pull the job ticket holder out. Now, these aren't open packs because I haven't opened these papers, and these are all Stampin' Up! colored packs. These, This right here, this, and this. See how they're all in color order? When I open these, then I'll organize them into the correct job ticket holders. But um, these are some extras that I've already cut up. I cut these up using my um, heavy-duty trimmer, and it's the Bypass trimmer from Fiskars, the really big one. Um, that allowed me to cut like four at a time without having to do them each singly because there was 20 in a pack and I had like six packs of these to cut so it was really quick to cut them all. But anyway, that is my share for now and thanks for watching.